Okay, so the last uh, optional topic we're going to discuss this week is the first order language of arithmetic. So the first order language of arithmetic contains two constants, 0 and 1. It also contains two relation symbols, less than and the familiar equals, and it contains two function symbols, times and plus. What this allows us to do is to build up any arithmetic expression with a surprisingly small number of symbols. Here's how this works. Suppose we want to name the constant 2. Well, 2 just equals 1 plus 1. For any number, we can just express it as a sum or a product of any other two numbers. So if we wanted to write out 6 fully, we would do it this way. Now, why have such a small number of constants, predicates, and function symbols? Well, these allow you to prove things on the basis of what's called induction. This isn't inductive proof in the sense of inductive logic, which is another thing altogether. We show that if something applies to the initial terms, and applies no matter how many times we apply the functions to those terms, then it'll apply for any number whatsoever. For instance, consider the properties of the even numbers that they're divisible by 2. We can't observe every single even number and see whether it's divisible by 2. No matter what even number we get by repeated applications of a function, that number will be divisible by 2. So the basis of inductive proofs, then, is to limit very severely what counts as terms and what counts as operations on those terms. And here are the limitations on those. So these are the rules. We'll say 0 and 1 are terms. The second rule is that if t and t prime are terms, t times t prime and t plus t prime are also terms. The third rule is very restrictive. Nothing else counts as a term. On the basis of these three rules, we can construct proofs about infinite sets of numbers. And if you go on to do more advanced logic, you'll see this method, the inductive method, used quite a bit. So it's worth keeping in mind, although again, we won't be discussing it in this course.